ArcelorMittal is celebrating 50 years of significant contributions from our employees at the Global Research and Development Center in East Chicago, Indiana. I came here for interview in this building. It had just opened in the, I think, month of August 67, and I came for interview in October 67. Then I joined here in February 68. So I was here from the very beginning of the opening of this building. And the work environment here and the type of work I was doing, you can't ask for anything more than that in life. The coast of Lake Michigan in Indiana saw a boom of steel plant construction in the first half of the 20th century. In 1902, ArcelorMittal Legacy Company Inland Steel poured its first steel ingots at the Indiana Harbor plant in East Chicago. In addition to steel workers, scientists and technicians came to Indiana and began what is now a half century of innovation. This building was built and commissioned and opened the doors to the scientists from all over the world in 1967. It was uh, commissioned to world famous, certainly today, world recognized company Skidmore, Owens and Merrill. And uh, among many iconic buildings that is recognized for, this company recognized for is certainly Sears Tower in Chicago. This building uh, in itself was unique. It can adjust to its growth, and growth indeed took place over the years. I think when I started, it was kind of really, not primitive, but it was sort of really, everything was done by hand. Uh, there were no computers, not even calculators or anything. And uh, all the products that were made and used by the automotive were almost a single grade. On the interior of the building, we have numerous uh, laboratories, uh, chemical, optical, microscopy, electron microscopy, uh, many, many simulations, etc., etc., etc. Equipment that uh, our scientists are using is some of the most sophisticated equipment available in the world today. Legacy companies came together to form ArcelorMittal Global Research and Development in 2007. And while names have changed, employees at Research and Development continued to embrace their unique differences in a family-like atmosphere. One of the characteristics, unique characteristics of this place was and is uh, cultural diversity of its, of its people. At any given time, there will be more than 20 nationalities represented in, in this building. Dzień dobry. Dobar dan. Malugod na pagbati. Zdravim vas. Sane bon ani. Drastovce. So, we celebrate this uh, diversity in, in many, many different ways. Chinese you, New Year, Indian, Diwali, uh, and many, many, many others. Uh, the halls of this building get decorated. People bring the food, which is typical of their regions, and share in a very festive, friendly, and homely environment. This place also allows the members of this community to explore their own passions and their own interests. And they go far and wide. For example, one of our uh, key employees uh, loves bees. And now we have our research honey, which gets better from year to year. A passion for nature led employees to initiate the restoration of 10 acres of rare dune and swale habitat. We have a unique prairie, dune and swale prairie something that a very few prairies like that left in the whole United States. The dune and swale restoration, uh, from our perspective, is something that private land uh, owners should do to contribute to ecology. A walking path around the perimeter encourages employees to exercise. 
we also hosted ArcelorMittal Global Walk. So people from all over were able to experience the beauty of the site and commitment of ArcelorMittal to quality of environment. Employees volunteer their time and talents and open their doors so inquiring minds can get a glimpse into the exciting world of invention and innovation. Some people ask me, what is the most remarkable thing that happened in my 37 years in this build business and associated with this building? It's not an event itself. It is the fact that over the 50 years that we're celebrating this year, we were able to constantly reinvent ourselves. And what we do and the science we employ is on the very cutting edge of science and technology worldwide. Once again, you cannot go to the street, look around, or walk in your house and look around and not find example after example after example of what we have created and materialized. So it's a, it's a unique experience. And I think people in the creative environment like this are very fortunate. ArcelorMittal's ability to innovate has made us an industry leader. Creating products that accelerate more sustainable lifestyles and create sustainable infrastructure is the cornerstone of our research and development strategy. What we're trying to do is to create an environment that our scientific personnel, engineering personnel are capable to outcreate our competitors. And to be able to do that, you need to create a climate where human creativity increases significantly. Advances by research and development employees include the concept of co-engineering, which revolutionized the way we work and develop products for automotive customers. This concept is now widely used throughout the industry. The East Chicago Laboratory played a major role in the development and promotion of third-generation advanced high-strength steels. These products are now a worldwide focus for lightweighting and safety enhancement in the automotive industry. And our researchers helped pioneer the use of flux pellets and non-recovery coke at Number 7 Blast Furnace at Indiana Harbor, the largest blast furnace in North America. ArcelorMittal Global Research and Development. Remembering the past, transforming tomorrow. To learn more, visit rd50years.com.